Huh, yeah, okay, that's good. Hi there, as you can see, I am also in quarantine. That seems to be the so-called new normal nowadays. Well, I feel lonely and blue, few customers too, but I became a corona detective now and spend hours on the telephone. But let me tell you about my last case before the lockdown. It started when I got a call from Fred Hilgens, the man whose alleged murder I once investigated. Fred had been living in seclusion for years, so I visit him at home. It is November 2019. You and I was a bit strange No matter how I try, you still will mean to change Oh, I always feel like I'm alone I'm just a sad man, red in the bone Yes, I need your help, Hugo. I'm being stalked for several weeks now. That's good for a would-be pop star, you'd say. But this is different. This is a woman who claims that I was her husband who disappeared a few months ago. Is she pretty? What? No, yes, actually. But that is not the point. Would you like to investigate this further? My wife of course pays all the expenses. And now I have to leave you, I still have a lot of work to do. Give me something to keep on going Just a gray light at the end of the night Tell me that our love will be growing And everything will turn out to be alright me to start working straight away and try to find out everything there is to know about that strange case. On July 5th, 2019, Felix Huben, the CEO of Fisk, a large accounting company, disappeared. The police conducted an investigation, but that has so far been unsuccessful. Huben was married to Barbara for STA, the original heiress of that same company. Ah, shit, shit. Shit. Okay, 
Okay, back to the field work then. The Hobbins mansion looks very different from mine. Clearly there is money here. I ring the bell and meet the lady of the house. A beautiful woman, that must be said, but not my type. You can see that she is a health freak in the style of desperate housewives. Good afternoon, Mrs. Hoobin. My name is Flintrop, Hugo Flintrop. I am helping the police with the case of your husband's disappearance. Can we talk about that? I can see now why you are bothering Mr. Hildens. The resemblance is astonishing, but that can also be said of me. Yes, you are right. And they have bought the same initial. A tout. A su dans l'ici that it all is a king of wishful thinking of man. But I'm also a wink su chartam. What happened exactly? Not much. That evening he called around 7 p.m. that he would be home late. He was very busy, but that was more often than not the case. And I haven't heard from him since. Nobody has heard from him. The police says both his cell phone and GPS were turned off. The surveillance camera only showed that he left the building just after 8 o'clock. There is also no trace of his car, a black BMW. Did he have any enemies? Not that I know, he never said much about his work. It may not be pretty, but I have to ask, did he have anyone else? What? Oh no, the police already asked that. We were not that close, you see. He had this job, and my friends. But the time we spent a jeté was quality time. I see, and who runs the office now? Oh, Mabba will become the official owner again. But I don't really care. My cousin, Robert Forestier, is no taking care of thing. But he is a no good for nothing. I believe he put the daily management into the hand of an early red woman. This is a story without an end. How I try to forget. A beautiful friend My memories have me by the throat And I hope to find an antidote What a fool I was to fall for you When you beg me for that mulligan stew Destiny took my hand and the prize Led me for a while into paradise When not the kind of man to fall easily in love with It was hardly the time nor the place I know you didn't deserve those lies in all that me leave me with hate on your face Much to think about, but I don't have time for that. I make an appointment for the same evening with Linda Leisure, the woman Mrs. Forestier was talking about. Well, I don't know that much. I just started here. But I understood that Mr. Hubbin was in the office until 8 o'clock, and then he went home. At least, that's what the other employees told me. Is the company healthy? Certainly, very much so. And at first sight there are no irregularities. Is it okay if I look around and take pictures? Be my guests. 
I use the Amwiji map that's an application developed in Rwanda. The name also means dark room in the Kinyarwanda language. What makes this app special is that it captures stills of the development process, just like it used to happen in a dark room. So you get to see more. Oops. Ah! Mr. Flintrop, are you alright? Yes, yes, my lace was loose. So, now some pictures. The next day I rush to the store for a new keyboard and then back home. The development procedure does work. In the first phase of the first accidental photo, there is something in the background that resembles a bucket. It can no longer be seen on subsequent phases or pictures, although some photographs were taken from the same viewpoint. I know what to do and contact Linda for the address of the cleaning company. I close my eyes for a moment and think about how to pronounce that name. I know what's right, but do what's wrong And waste myself all day long I lied when I said I have a plan As you can see on my last brain scan But sometimes I hear music in my head And I reach out for you lying next to me The skin of a loved one heals the pain It's like drinking springtime from a glass of champagne On my knees I last for your hand in boxing glove The romantic dreams I have, yes I'm a fool in love A fool in love Anna Zewicki, please to meet you, Mr. Flintrop. How can I help you? I got your name from Mrs. Leisure from the Four House office, where your company apparently does the cleaning. Can you find out who was on duty on July 5th? Of course. Linda had already informed me. Here I have it. Rosita Mistrello, as she has been working for us for years. Shit. When I was outside again, I realized I forgot to ask for the address. But what do you want? That woman intimidated me. I called Shema, who I had once helped, and asked if she could look it up for me. Half an hour later I already had an answer. Hugo? Yes? I found what you asked for. Rosita Mistralau, married to Lou Mistralau, someone who does all kinds of jobs. They live in Merksum, Gierchok 76. Thank you, Shema. You are an angel. Sometimes it's all too much So I disappear into my world I need a sentimental crutch for my emotions left uncurled That will be the bus for me, but I know the area and remember that there is a small forest across the street, from which I can keep an eye on the house. On the way I pass by McDonald's for some burgers, and then I start waiting. After half an hour I get sick as a crab and vomit. <laughs> it is then that I notice that Rosita does not live alone. An ugly, but fairly rude guy leaves the house. I flinch and kick into my freshly produced vomit. Then I go home. The next day I am back on the job. 
After an hour I see how Rosita leaves the house. I decide to follow her and think about how I started my career. How I shaded that girl from the cafeteria. I followed her home and that was that. No me too situations or anything. No, I just thought it exciting and I knew what to do with my life from then on. A little later, Rosita enters a hairdresser. After three hours of waiting, Rosita finally comes out. I quickly enter and ask if I can have some locks of hair from that last customer. A matter of a DNA test or something like that. The effeminate hairdresser promptly chases me out and I go back to Rosita's house. The moment I arrive there I see how Rosita's husband, I will call him Lou, especially because that's his name, leaves the house, gets into a white van that has been parked there all the time, and drives off. That's my chance and I ring the bell. Hey, good afternoon, ma'am. I am a Jehovah's Witness. May I just come in to talk to you about our doctrine? No, I'm not here. 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 I'm not A dog couldn't be worse, but still, I'm sure. How to prove that the Mistress and Huben saw each other that fateful evening, and then I fall asleep. Lying on my back, glaring at you, in a room with an ocean from you. Do what you want, while you undress, my dark design just a sweet caress. I gave it a shot, but it didn't work All I can do is act like a jerk Stop trying now, and give it a bad pal You may be married to a dead man Oh, and I can't get it up no more Don't understand what is happening to me Trapped in a revolving door That makes me feel like an amputee I decide to follow my instinct and question the neighbors. I have to be careful that Rosita doesn't see me. Although, I'm a witness to Jehovah, right? I strike gold at the fourth door. De mistralaus, och, die zijn niet heel sociaal. Ze zeggen niets en krijgen niet veel bezoek. Maar wacht, een paar maanden geleden of zo zag ik daar toch een mooie, zwarte auto voor de deur staan. Ik dacht nog, hola, die vodiverkoper laat het precies breed hangen. Maar de volgende dag was die auto weg en zag ik alleen nog zijn witte bestelwagen staan. I know enough, but it is too little. The following night I will try to take a closer look at that van. Let's enjoy this last month together Before you walk away forever we won't see each other anymore After you left through the back room door The end of an affair I had no premonition What I feel is clearly spell Damnation and petition Damn, what a mess. Shh. 
shit. What's happening? En mi debilita, los intrapinuistas que presumen de ti. How do you know my name? Ten de gana y esta cara de mi directivese. Te vas a ir para nuestra visita fratel de un calizit. Com, que esta telefona que dios morise. Es esta nis. Va con la ir dum. Um, I'm helping the police investigate the disappearance of Mr. Huben, the CEO of the office where your wife does the cleaning. Tech dat ze weet. Maar dat van de polis? Nee, dat geloof ik niet. De keren dat ga je zelf maar wat aan het zoeken zijn. Wel, ik kan haar zeggen, je hebt gelijk. Maar dat gelijk betekent niet eens ook al wat anders. How do you mean? Did you make Huben disappear? Jazeker. Ik heb zo'n met mijn vrouw. Ik zit er veel op hoe ik. We doen het al jaren zo. Maar als ik dan wel dat is van seks, is dat ik er niet meer kan geven. Maar als er genoeg van is, dan krijg ik de vinkt in kwestie om er wat mee te spelen en dan definitief te laten zwaaien. Eerder ook eens een kiek, om het zo te zeggen. Trouwens, die vinkt waarover dat je dit, die kwam door zijn wel wat gekeurd, geloof ik. En wat gebeurt er nu? Tja, wat kan ik zeggen? Nou, maar kijk maar plezier ik hem alleen, hè? Not so fast, Mr. Mistralau. Put those hands high. Linda, are you not cold? Mr. Flintrop, are you okay? Yes, yes. Have you heard everything? No, I was too late. Don't worry, I recorded everything via a voice recorder app on my phone. That stupid son of a bitch forgot to turn it off. But how did you get here? Well, actually, I'm a police detective. I work undercover, because at first we suspected Mrs. Forresty's cousin. But after your visit I decided to follow you. In this coat up room as you seem so refined I never saw it that way I must have been blind Like a green work of art Attractive and smart You found the chance to heat up a gold heart of you in my mind With your hungry face you look like a movie star I'm gonna love you just as you are Eight more victims how did the trial go? Good, Mr. Alau is sentenced for life, his wife got 20 years. Well, it seems to me that they no longer viewed their victims as human beings, but as objects. But when can I see you again? I really miss you. Me too, but let's hold on a little longer, we'll get out of this. And to say it all started with Fred Hilgens, his music is not contemporary at all, but somehow it fits in this situation. Sing this song for you Another day of rain And I'm feeling blue Love is not the dirty word All these cliches leave me undeterred My iPhone sings And I expect it might be you That's not complying to my market value Keep on trying 
See 